Alexis Bouquet in goal for the Warriors. Riley O'Connor made it 1-0 on a power play. Curtis Knight makes it 2-0. Early on, it looks like the Warriors are in control. However, the A's get a pair of shorthanded goals, 28 seconds apart. The second coming from Nick Boydan. This game is tied up at two apiece. Into the second period, Jordan Holpe finds space and scores. That's going to make it 5-4 as the A's are now the ones with the power. Caught napping here, and they outlet down the floor to Chris Atwood. He scores 7-4 to four at this point for St. Catharines. The Warriors in some trouble. They need a spark, and they're going to get it from Curtis Knight. Watch this goal. Blows through everybody, goes in and goal, and will not miss. That is what Whitby needed. That's his 28th goal of the season. They regain control and get three in a row, including this one right here from Ryan Serville. Empty net, he's not going to miss from there. Game tied up at seven apiece. Brody Tutton with a chance to restore the lead, but he is stopped by Penny. And right down at the other end, Jordan Derridick, he scores eight to seven. This one's back and forth. Could have been another one here for the A's, but Alexis Bouquet standing big to keep his team within one. Big moment here late in the second period. The extra attacker on, and for the second time in the period, Ryan Serville with the empty net to look at. That goal comes with one second left. Into the third period, Sheldon Burns, four on four, goes in and scores. That's going to make it nine to eight, and they would not give up the lead the rest of the way. Mike Triello trying to kill off a penalty here for the A's, doing some great work using his height advantage here. Whitby would pretty much put this one away here as Chad Tutton comes in. He's going to score into the empty net, making it 11 to 8. Now, all Whitby really needs to do is hang on to the ball. They give it to Emerson Clark, and he allows himself to be abused for about 30 straight seconds, just taking chops and hacks and more slashes. Eventually, it would result in a penalty, and they just walk off the clock for the rest away from there. 11 to 8 was the final. Certainly wasn't a pretty game, but Whitby does whatever it takes. They get the win. That's four in a row.